Welcome to Morning Reflections. I'm Janina Reese. Thank you for joining me all week as we were talking about the names that Jesus referred to himself as, like, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And I wanted to go a little bit more into the shepherd. Yesterday we were talking about, he is the shepherd, I am the shepherd. And I wanted to go a little bit more into that with you. And one of my favorite Psalms is Psalm 23, and you probably know it. And I'd like to read it to you. You can sense the tenderness of what a shepherd is. And it says in Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's what we have to look forward to if Jesus truly is your shepherd. And if he is, that means you've received him into your heart. And you are his sheep, and he loves you so much, precious ones. And I'd like to read this from the book of Revelation Revelation is about heaven. And this is Revelation chapter 7, verse 17. And it says, The Lord who stands in front of the throne will be there, shepherd, and he will be your shepherd. And he will lead to them to the springs of giving waters. And God will wipe away all their tears. And precious ones, we have that to look forward to. But oh, how my heart longs for you to know him, truly know him, and have that second birthday, as it says in John chapter 3, the book of John chapter 3, to have that second birthday when you receive Jesus into your heart. He will then be your shepherd, and you will be his sheep. You will know his voice, and you will dwell with him forever and ever and ever in glory. May God bless you, precious ones. Thank you for joining me. And I will be praying for you. If you haven't received Jesus yet, contact our ministry and we can pray with you or you can just go on your knees and say, Jesus, forgive me my sins. Come into my heart. Be my savior. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you, and God bless you, dear ones. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.